Hello everybody, welcome back to Can of Wormholes. There was a patch recently, so if I just show you this level here, for example. All of the levels at the bottom of the screen, when you pause now, this is showing 512. So this is the 12th level of the fifth worm, I suppose. So from now on, I should be able to uh, tag the levels with the designation that they have so that people might be able to search out and discuss them more easily but for now we look for puzzles that is not going to be one but it's so interesting that the uh the shapes down there we are still up here in the pink worm this looks like oh we were doing this earlier weren't we So this is the one where we can destroy the fence. So what I know about this level is we can push this over. Uh, no, we can push that over. Pull this out of here. Put that down there. And then cut that in two. And then by eating this... We cut that fence down. Now, how does that help us? Is a great question. We can't eat those at this point. But I need to eat at least one more. To um, make the turn that I think I want to make, right? But here's my problem. I can't back out of this now once I've made that roll. So either there's going to be some other way to move this out of the way, or... I can't even... I would need to eat two more pieces to make the tip of me face outwards. Did I do that? A great question. Um, if I pull this over, right, uh, it's going to have to be here. Oh, God. This is more complicated than I thought it was going to be. Can I move this I guess I can't move this up here. Can I? I can't get underneath this to push this up to slide it into the fence. I can't remember what the insight on this level was. It might be... just uh, that we can manipulate fences. But if it's not that, we'll find out soon. When we're this short, oh, can I? Hold on. I'm having so many thoughts. If I put those two there, I get stuck. And that gets me stuck as well. All right, check the insight. It is, I think, showing fence destruction, isn't it? But that doesn't work. What am I doing wrong here? Oh, it's not showing fence destruction. It's showing... Cutting a head off of my... Cutting a ring off of my head. Interesting. So if I need to cut a ring off of this... I can make a dot that I can eat later... So that as a ring I can then become a worm. That's totally something I could feasibly do.
So I'm going to need the fence to stay there. So my next thought is... If I can get... Hold on. This three-piece here... To there... While I'm on the other side of the fence... Could I then... Eat it and cut my head off. But how would I move this while I'm on the other side of the fence? Like this. Okay, we're making progress. Clearly, the two-piece needs to be out of the way. Somewhere probably quite specific, but where is that going to be? And I also need to get the three piece out of the way first, I think. So this is going to roll over. And that's going to put that there, which means I can then eat that dot. I think. All right. Not a bad one to start. There is one other puzzle in here, which is going to be this one. So we're going to have to do some floorway manipulation here. That sends us out through here, through this level. I expect we need to unkink this 90 degree turn, so... Let's get in there, and... Let's see how we do with that first. We can fast travel back to here, and then try this. We go out, we go around, we go along. In. Along. Okay. So we now need to turn the section behind the head. We can probably do that. How about that then? We have it turned to the left. We can always make it turn to the right if needed. Through there, through there. Okay. We went through here, through here. Stuck there, so we want to make that turn to the right instead. And then we'll give that a go. And if that doesn't work, then I'm going to need some fresh ideas. It looks like as it approaches the first piece through the door that there's not actually many options for it to go. Yeah. Oh, wait. No, because that's the one that is for this level. We come out of here and whichever way this is facing, this block is in the way, right? There's no entryway into this. This one... ...is going nowhere fast. That's really interesting. I think some of this stuff was changed to make... ...some things on this level a little bit easier to understand. Or at least to learn the wires mechanic a little faster. But seeing this room in its totally different configuration also does not make my brain happy. So, go back to this. 
think this is the way up. I'm more used to having this room. Yes. This used to... Didn't this used to send us into the two-piece? Now I'm confused. I don't know what's different and what's new. Oh, that's annoying. So, am I going to cut you here instead first? And then have to fetch you out? Okay. That's not going to work. Feasibly, I could roll it sooner. But I don't know if that's going to help. That's better. Okay. So, we still have two in here. And that one at the end that was being a bit odd. This one... Something about this definitely changed. Over here, how are we going to get something to that wire through here? Great question. That disappears. That disappears. Can I fetch this? I don't know if I can. Oh, I can if I push it left, perhaps? No, because it's going to fall down the hole immediately. I was hoping that I would be able to put that there, or more likely there. And then, in some capacity, bridge this gap whilst using the long piece to push this home. Alright. More work needed. Because we can do this and then finish this way. That makes that wire. But this is then still no good to me. Can I flip the L piece? Doesn't look like there's going to be any easy way to make resistance against myself. Or against... This stuff up here. Because I can't have it there. I can have that one in the top left done as a wire. Is that going to help me ever? I am deeply uncertain. And this one, I presume, still just goes to this lower piece, right? Yeah, it takes the 90 degree turn and nada. So we're going to need this line to be straight. 
in order to get one of these into one of those, I suspect. All right, take me to the map because we now have a much longer pink worm. So I'm curious if we reset and do our classic dance with yellow and then waltz over with blue. Can pink get over there? We'd need another one, two, maybe three steps. And we have 10 of 13 pink. So if I want to get to that other worm, I suspect we may need to finish off these pink puzzles. Anything else I can do about that? Um, I don't know if I can get red onto Pink's door. Not there, I can't. So I wonder if I do need to complete all of these puzzles if I'm going to get Pink's lower door into that top door there. All right, then. Pink it is. Uh, we're going to have to get our ways back over there. Uh, can I? I cannot undo once we've reset. That's fine. We know where we're going. Also go there and there. Don't think it's going to make too much of a difference to us. Let's make pink a straight line for now. I also recognize this orientation of the room quite comfortably. Huh? Hold on. It was the orientation of the bend that let me get into an alternate entryway? Oh. Because I guess the bend is happening on this curve. Interesting. Very, very interesting. So these two have entry lines. And these two have exit lines. Can I build a route to enter the puzzle above me from this puzzle? Going to be metagamey for a little minute. If I do that, and then this, that puts that wire in place, and then if I do this, we're in the same... No, we're in a different worm now. Okay. So we can make different connections with these wires. Can we do it this way? I suspect not, because if you watch that one on the left, it's now glowing in anticipation of being a wire. Um, but I could... Be a wire in place. No, because I... This guy... Cannot get in the hole to finish, so... Has to be somebody else being a wire. But none of these gaps are... Wire-sized. Right? 
Well, that doesn't help me. That will probably do something. But if there's no other place to put this that makes it be a wire... That's now locked in. That unlocks the second one. I don't know what that bottom wire is good for. This one. Just goes nowhere. Here's a question. Can we make Pink's doors connect to themselves to make one kind of loop of Pink Corridor? That's going to be a no, isn't it? Alright, well let's try this. Because evidently I was sleeping on the fact that turns can offer different entrances and exits because now this rather than pointing into here pointed into there to give us an answer but this is on the fixed pad with this so that's not going to do anything to help us and then way back here it's a completely different potential worm how can I get that table to not be there because I don't know that I can unless having it arrive in a different space in the first place when it comes around the corner would impact it, but I don't know if I can make this go that far. Yeah, that changes that, which is no good to me. Right, the other thing I'm going to do, let's check the back of the ship. Are there any clues here? Oh my god. That's like the biggest clue that I've ever seen. Blue rocket... Hold on. Blue rocket curly symbol. Curly symbol into crossed four, which is the one we do not have yet. Then that goes into this, through this, through that, to there, to there, to there, to there. So we need to unlock this new symbol before we can make use of this. I don't know what crystals making salt shakers means. But that is an incredibly valuable piece of information to know, I'm sure. Question is, is it just going to be how many manifestations of this can I get wrong before I find the right one? Because obviously there can only be so many ways in which you can orientate the turns and the legs or the segments of the worm. But that's my big problem. So this is my problem child, right? Because it comes in here and hits that. And I can't change where this level here is oriented as far as I can tell alright so we're back to this guy we get the long worm this is a valid wire
Did I do... I might have done this before. But... I can do that. Which makes that a wire. Have we done this one before, though? Or have we still got this one to solve? I can't even tell from here. It says that there's two puzzles. And there's the one in the top right and the one above me. So I suspect I've done this one. Yeah. But perhaps this is a stepping stone to that alternate answer. So, now we have L and Longworm. Is this different? Is that a different wire than usual? Or does it normally go on the other corner? Because what, what I could do, or what I think I could do, perhaps is if I put that there, that can be resistance. Which means I can flip this. And now that is definitely a different wire. So let's make sure we prepare correctly before we shoot our shot. That's going to come out of the middle, come down to here, and come out of this. So we need to move that because that's just going to roll off to nowhere. So, back to here. And we'll check both the straight and the bent orientations to see what other options present themselves. So that comes down... Through there, along here, to here. That seems new to me. So, middle one. Along. Up a wire, round, down a wire, down the floor. And this is new. First of all, we can just win this level. Which I don't know if that will get me the symbol I want. From around the corner. It will. Cool. Great development. Then we can do that again. Swings around there. Swings over to here. And now we have this big old thing. Now, interesting thing about this is that we have a fence that we can cut it into basically as many pieces as we want. So, like, if we do that... We can put that there, or here. Uh, right, before I put it there, because I need to get behind it, I would also like to do... That one there, that there. Oh, God. And then this needs to. Does this need to flip over? Like, do I need to rotate this through 180 degrees of symmetrical rotation? Like, do I need to just rotate it 180 degrees? Because I want that tip to be on that dot, I think. And then that would come down to here, which I don't know how that really helps me. That doesn't help me. Can I make the two-piece out of a different side? Because currently out of this, there is no way to make the shape I was just referring to.
So I wonder what this would look like if I just did this. Oh, uh, not that. That becomes a wire, that becomes a wire. The pieces on the board reset. So, rolling up this is not going to help me. So I'm going to need to do some more work on there. That'll be a story for next time then. For now, thank you guys ever so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying the mysteries of this journey as much as I am. If you have any questions, comments, recommendations, you can put those down below. If you would be so kind as to hit that like button or subscribe if you have done so already, I'd really appreciate that too. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.